In this tutorial, we talk about annotating types for lists in Python. For instance, I define the variable numbers and specify its type as a list and assign a list of numbers to it. Since I've specified the type of the variable numbers as a list, if I change the brackets to parentheses, the editor will throw an error saying that an expression of type tuple cannot be assigned to the declared type list. And if I change the parentheses to curly braces, again the editor will throw an error saying that expression of type set cannot be assigned to the declared type list. So I change back the curly braces to the brackets so the editor will not throw the error anymore. When I annotate the type of the variable number as a list, it can be a list of anything. For instance, if I add an element of type a string to the list, the editor will not throw any kind of error because it's a still a list. I can also specify the type of the list inside a bracket. Over here, I have annotated the type as int. Now, if I add an element of type a string to the list, the editor will throw an error, saying that the expression of type list of integers and strings cannot be assigned to declared type list of ints. Now I define another variable called mixed list and annotate its type as list. Since my list contains strings and integers, I pass the type of string and integer as a union type inside the bracket to the list. I can also add an element of float type and add the type float to the union types. However, this is kind of redundant. As I've already explained in the previous videos of the Python typings for beginners playlist, integers can be considered a subtype of floats that is a spatial case of floats. So if I remove the float type over here, the editor will throw an error. Now I define a variable called nested list. This variable contains a list of lists, hence nested list. I assign a list of lists containing integers to the variable nested list. Now if I pass the integer inside the bracket to the list, the editor will throw an error because I am assigning a nested list of integers to the variable nested list. So somehow I have to obey the hierarchy of the list. In addition, I specify the type that those lists contain. I also can increase the hierarchy of lists in the nested list that is a list of list of lists. However, I wouldn't recommend going in depth of more than two for specifying the type of lists. For depths more than two, it is preferred to define custom types that I'll talk in the future. Because when the depth increases, when we annotate a type, it reduces the code readability. Also, in this case, if I add an element of type string, the editor will throw an error because we haven't specified the type string passed to the list type in the brackets for annotation. And for the multi-type list, we have already discussed that we have to pass the types using the union or the pipe. Also note that if I add the element none to the list, I have to annotate the none type and pass it to the union or the pipe. In addition, instead of PyLens extension for VS Code Editor, we can use third-party tools to actually check the types of our Python code. MyPy is one of those tools. We can install MyPy using the pip install MyPy. Then I go to the directory where my code exists and type MyPy and the name of my Python file. This way MyPy analyzes my Python file and checks it for the type errors. Since my file didn't have any kind of error, the reported message is success, no issues found in source file. Now for instance, if I want to evoke the VS Code editor to throw an error, I remove the type none, so the VS Code editor will throw an error. This error is due to the PyLens checking our code. Now let's see what MyPy does. As you can see, the MyPy checked the source file and found one error in the file, saying that list item 1 has incompatible type none. Expected union of a string and float. This means that we have an extra element none that we haven't specified or annotated the type of. We can easily fix that by passing the none type to the pipe. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not lose future content on Python typings for beginners. As always, see you all. Later.